Welcome to the Constructor Viewer tutorial. The Constructor Viewer is a free program that allows you to view constructor files exported to the portable constructor format known as PCF. To open a PCF file from within the viewer, go to File and choose Open Project. And this will open up a project loading window uh, where you can browse for where your uh, PCF files, files are saved. Uh, here we have a couple. We're going to choose one and click Open. And now we have a PCF file loaded here. And at any time that you need help uh, in the constructor viewer, we have over here on the right uh, in the split screen area with the constructor uh, viewer active help system. And this will give you information on how to uh, run the constructor viewer. If you simply move your mouse pointer over uh, certain areas, um, the constructor viewer active help system will update itself with information. And so as we go over here, we have a del Y delta motor. Uh, you can see the information is updated to um, display that information for you. And also on the interface, so as you're moving uh, your mouse cursor over certain parts of the interface, it'll give you information on what to do in those areas too. There are a couple uh, menu options uh, here in the Active Help System uh, split screen area. Uh, up here we have Display the Diagram and we click that and simply what it's going to do is change the split screen area uh, to match a duplicate copy of what the other side is. And so in the case that um, on the bottom here we zoom out, we see the full diagram here. Um, over on the right side we can adjust um, this area and this one's displaying at 100%. So just to give you another option uh, for displaying parts of the diagram. If you want to see the entire diagram on this side but go to a certain area that you want to see on this side. Um, over on this blue icon here, the display, the active help. This is just the area that we were just at. Um, the simulation log, uh, and this will show you a little bit later. As you're simulating your diagram, it'll uh, display log information, and you'll be able to save that. The display the workbook icon. This will display any uh, workbook information that has been saved in the constructor before it was exported. Um, this is just some material that you can include or that can be included into the files that you can uh, have access to viewing. You also have access to viewing this information up here uh, on these tabs here. And then we have finally uh, the display the notes icon and this will just display any notes that were included in the constructor um, as it was exported as well. And again that's also available up here. The only option that you don't have available um, up here on the tabs that you do in the constructor is the wire label printing tab uh, which will set up the the wire printing labels so down here we're gonna go ahead and zoom back up to hundred percent and at any time that uh, you don't want the split screen um, showing up you can choose the unsplit screen icon and this will bring it back to a full screen so you have a full view in a PCF file, uh, you don't have access to uh, changing any symbols, you can't move any objects, um, delete any wires. Um, the things that you can do are adding drawing objects. We can add rectangles, um, text boxes. So as we draw a rectangle here, uh, then we get a window that pops up that allows us to change the properties. We can change the order, the position, the size. Uh, we can even, if I right click here on a color, it'll change the fill color. If I left click, it'll change the border color. Uh, we can set it to transparent, solid, um, change the line styles. This will just give us some options for adjusting our drawing objects. And here we have a text box. We'll draw a text object. And then we can click off of it and just set it. At any time we want to change uh, any objects that we've added, if we just click on the object, it'll bring back the properties window and then you can change the text, uh, you can change the font style, the size, you can even adjust the alignment. We'll change that to bold. Okay, and then when you're uh, ready, you can just uh, choose to save and what it'll do is it'll update that PCF file and you can send this PCF file back to uh, the person that had the constructor when they open the constructor and open this PCF file they do have access to all the objects that they originally um, added but they also have access to the objects that you added 
The only difference in the uh, constructor viewer is we only have access to changing the objects that we added originally uh, in the viewer when we went to save. You also have the ability to print um, the diagrams in the PCF file in this viewer. So we can choose the print icon here. It's also uh, located under the file. Um, so we'll just click this print icon and it'll bring up a print window. And so this is displaying our uh, diagram of what it would look like when we were print it. We have the option to change the page scale to kind of fill up the page a little bit. We can just hit fit to page also. Um, we have the zoom, we can zoom out on the page. And then here you'll notice uh, there's a legend included. This was included in the original constructor file. We do have the option under page options. We can change that to where if we don't want it, we can click none. Uh, we have a couple other options where we can include a border around the page. Um, here's some border styles. We'll just turn off this legend just to show you here. Click OK. And now the legend is, is gone and we can just choose to print it this time. We also under printer setup, we can change the page settings. Um, landscape, uh, portrait, page size. A couple more icons I'll show you here. Um, this one is display the panel buttons. And in the constructor, if any um, objects or you know switches and stuff were assigned to a panel button, this is what they would look like in here. And during simulation, we can use this uh, panel button actually uh, to click those switches if we choose to. So we have a stop button, a start button, and a fuse. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out this one is the display sound effects volume control. And so the sound effects that are included um, in this file during simulation, you can adjust the volume uh, if you want. One great advantage in the constructor viewer is you can simulate your diagrams just as you would in the constructor. So we have a, a power switch here. We click the power switch. And we've just activated the power flow. So now you can see uh, through the colored lines how the power is flowing through the circuit. And if we click on the start button, you'll see that it's activated the coil and the timer is counting down. And the motor up top here is also running. Now while this is in simulation mode, uh, we can uh, click on some other objects, say uh, in the case of this fuse, if we were to left click this fuse, it would just break the fuse. So for testing purposes, you can change some of the states of these, uh, let's say in this case the contact, we can change it from normally open to, to close here if we wanted to do a test. Okay, on this motor, if we right click, we also have a menu option. Uh, it's going to actually go through it here, and we'll show you in the non simulation mode too in a minute. But as we're right clicking, it's going to go through um, the normal to the shorted option. So now, if we were to go down here and try to run the circuit, um, power up the motor, it's going to tell us that the main breaker has tripped due to a short in the circuit. So if we choose yes here, it'll isolate that short for us. We scroll through here, and here we see where the short is located. And we just reset our circuit breaker. And now that we're uh, not in simulation mode, I'll show you by right-clicking the motor, we have the option to preset the motor to be um, in one of these states. So if we want it to be in an overloaded state or a shorted state, uh, we can click on that. And then now when we go to run it, it's automatically in the shorted state. So as we uh, go through like we just did before, um, if we hit start, it's just going to tell us that the main breaker is tripped. You do also have options uh, if you right click on say a uh, contact here, we can choose to lock the contact, close the contact. Uh, so there are a couple other menu options. Um, the same thing with the fuse, we can right click on it, choose open it, and so that'll be the, the default state now, so that fuse is in the broken state um, by default. So when we go to run it, it'll just remain in that state. One thing you may notice, uh, some numbers here besides some contacts and also some switches. Uh, we have a contact here that's normally closed. Um, this number two beside it is just showing that it's um, actually associated with this coil. So it'll kind of help you keep track of some things on the diagram. 
Uh, and this stuff is stuff that you set in the constructor um, in the PCF file. We're just able to have access to viewing that. So we have that contact associated to that coil. Um, here we have uh, this coil is associated to that contact. So as the coils are energized, then the contacts will change states. For this next example, we're going to go ahead and show you um, that simulation log. Um, we'll go ahead and reset that fuse here and get the split screen back. And now we're going to go to the simulation log and we'll go ahead and run the circuit. So here we have our motor still set for shorted. We'll right click on that and we'll toggle through the menu. So now the motor is set to normal. We'll go back down to the start circuit here and we'll hit start. And actually it didn't start because uh, we have it set to stop. So we'll hit the start and now the log is running. So we'll try this again. Okay, so now it's showing us some information on what's actually happening, uh, which things are being energized. So uh, let's go ahead and click the stop button. And then we see that the stop button was pressed and released. And so as it's just logging information, we have the option to, uh, when we're done through the troubleshooting, we can save the log, clear the log, and if we want to start over. And we can just hit stop, and then the log is, is paused currently. So just another helpful tool uh, during your simulation and troubleshooting. Under the help menu, you have access to some other helpful information. Um, you have the help file um, at any point that you want to check for any updates. Um, it's automatically checked to check for updates each time you start up. You can uncheck that if you desire. Um, you have the access to emailing, um, access to our websites as well. As you can see, the Constructor Viewer is a great resource for uh, being able to share your files with others, for teachers and students, uh, contractors and their customers as well as using it for any kind of training purposes that you might want to use it for. Thank you for watching the Constructor Viewer tutorial.